So there's a few different definitions of pandemic. One simple definition is an epidemic that goes global. Um, another definition is when you get sustained transmission of the disease within the community in two or more continents. And that's probably the definition that we're looking at at the moment. Normally, it can take years. It can take five to 20 years in some instances. But in epidemics, ever since the Ebola crisis, um, we've developed more rapid ways of getting vaccines to populations. But the soonest, I think, feasibly, we could see it is 12 to 18 months, maybe a bit sooner, but that's kind of the time frame. It's a respiratory virus, so the virus is growing in the respiratory tract. We know that the, vi the load of virus, the number of viruses you can find is higher in the lungs, deep in the lungs than in, in the throat or the nose, and that favors airborne transmission. But we also know that like SARS and MERS coronavirus, it's spread by droplets. That's the large respiratory droplets coming from the throat and the nose, um, but also through contact. So contaminated surfaces, if someone has coughed or sneezed on a handrail or a table or a chair and you put your hand there, you can then infect yourself. Washing your hands frequently because hand hygiene is one of the most important things you can do. Just soap and water is enough. You don't need to use hand gel unless you haven't got running water. If you're sick, don't go to work. And if your child is sick, don't send them to school. So COVID-19 has caused more deaths than SARS now in the world. Um, however, the death rate, the case fatality rate, the number of deaths per number of cases is lower. Um, but because it seems to be more contagious and it's spread more rapidly around China and uh, other countries, the, the total number of deaths is higher. I think we need to be watching the situation internationally with concern. It is concerning that whilst China has managed to control the epidemic and the numbers are going down, we're now seeing epidemics taking off in other countries. That's a concern because every country needs to be equally vigilant and quick to respond. The Australian Academy of Science. Because questions need answers.